Hey everybody, hope you're doing good. I have a word for you today. I feel it is burning in my heart. If you've come online here, I believe things are going to break off you today. I feel the Lord speak to me so clearly. He is speaking to me about obstacles and those things that have been in the way. Those things that have been trying to taunt us. Those things that have been trying to stop you or block you from entering into what God has for you. Those things that are just trying to bully you in a season that God is actually trying to celebrate you. That God is wanting to bless you. That God is wanting to pour favor on you. He's trying to open your eyes and increase your vision. I really feel like that there is something that God is uh, stirring up in us right now as the body of Christ and authority. There's this roar. There is this sound that's in us that God's saying, raise your sound. Don't allow those things to dominate you. Don't allow those things to take you out. And I just want to pray over that today. I want to prophesy into that today. I want to release even just a song over that today. I really feel like God wants to lift every single thing off you that's been oppressing you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hear that the, the shriek of those voices leave you. You're gonna see that stuff that's been co- trying to cause strife in your home lift. You're gonna, you're gonna see those obstacles, those circumstances around your life that have been trying to, trying to cause you to fear, trying to cause you to retreat. You're gonna see those things begin to back away because there's something that's gonna burst on out of, out of you today. I feel like the God is stirring up in you right now, even an authority, even a cry, even just something in you that's like, I can't do this the same way. I can't live that way anymore, under instead of above, as the tail instead of the head. And I'm on here today to encourage you and to remind you that you are the head and not the tail. I'm here to remind you today that you paid too high of a price to back out now. I'm here to remind you today that God is so much good for you. You don't need to dwell in a place of fear. You don't need to stay in a place of feeling inundated by by those insecurities and those things that want to tell you that you know that you're not enough, that God isn't working things out for you. Why isn't that door open? Why isn't that thing happening? Why hasn't my breakthrough come? All these things. Clear that out of the road today and just allow God to speak to your heart. I'm just going to uh, just ask Holy Spirit, come. Just fill this place. Just let this broadcast, let the atmosphere of every home, every single person that comes on here, Father, be inundated with your presence, God. Let your glory come. Father, let the, you, that you would completely align thoughts and hearts right now, God, that people who have been just feeling completely inundated by this stuff, God, that your glory would come and shift mindsets and hearts, God. Let your glory just fill every single home, God. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, where there's just there's just been almost like a sense of, well, I'm stuck. God, let them feel the movement of their feet. Lord God, let them begin to feel, Father, the fresh hair. Lord God, that you're growing in the back. The strength is returning, God. The joy is returning, God. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to prophesy of you first. I'm going to release a sound or a song of you. I don't know what God wants to do with it, but I'm going to, I just want to be faithful and release it. And so I had this dream last night and God's been putting this theme in my heart for days now and I've been wanting to come on and release this. And, and uh, in this dream last night, um, I, there was this um, amazing bus uh, and I was showing people through it and I was like, isn't this amazing, this bus, this beautiful, this beautiful vehicle that God's given me, you know? And I was showing people through this bus. So it was like a, an RV kind of bus and I knew it was built for travel. It had all the latest mods and cons and tech on it and I was like, wow, this is incredible, the GPS and all this stuff. And I'm showing people through it. We're like, wow, this is incredible what God's doing. And, you know, obviously a bus represents ministry, mission, destiny, all those kinds of things. And so I'm showing people through it. And as we walk out of the bus, me, me and about 20 other people, there is this, this man I see struggling with this young child. And um, I'm like, whoa, what's happening? This child looks like it's ripping him apart. And it was his own child, right? And, uh, and this, this kid is demon possessed, like demon possessed. Like as, as crazy as demon possessed as you can, uh, as you, uh, can imagine, you know. And um, I look down and uh, the father just looks like he, he's just done. Everyone around me is in fear because this child begins to try to attack us. He tries to stand at the, at the front of the bus. So we couldn't even get through there anymore. And it's, just, it's kind of taunting and whatever. And straight away something just rises up in me. And I just say, De- devil, you come out of that boy. That is an injustice that you're upon him. And you get out of him. But... There was also something that God was showing me even in the dream. I sensed it. It was a twofold thing. I know God was speaking to me about, you know, that there is a, there is a real rising of the, of, of the ministry, the, the deliverance ministry in this hour. I knew he was speaking to me about that. But I also sensed that there was something about that this spirit was standing in the front of the bus where the door was. I knew it was an obstruction. I knew it was something that was a violation of, of, of this mission and this mandate that God had, had given me or us or whoever it was in this dream that God was revealing. I knew it was the body of Christ. And I really felt like I was meant to cast out that thing so that we would not have any obstacles. And as I woke up this morning, I heard the Lord speak to me and he said, 
I'm the name above all names. I am the king above all kings. And I just felt like there was something this morning that God was wanting to release an authority to know who we truly are and whose we are. And I I actually meant to get this scripture out earlier. But I want to quickly read you a story. I want to quickly ask you, what stands in your way? What are you tolerating in your life right now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mark 5. Mark 5, it's in. I want to read the story of the demon-possessed man. You see, Jesus, right, he, he, he traveled across the sea. There was the storm. All this stuff was going on. He took this journey that was just for this man, just for this one man in this city that wasn't even a, wasn't even a, um, um, a God-believing or God-fearing city. And Jesus went to this place, right? And it says this in verse 1, They arrived at the other side of the lake and at the region of Gassanes, and Jesus stepped ashore. A demon-possessed madman came out of the graveyard and confronted him. The man had been living there among the tombs of the dead, and no one was able to restrain him, not even with chains. For every time they attempted to chain his hands and feet with shackles, he would snap the chains and break the shackles in pieces. He was so strong that no one had the power to subdue him. Day and night he could be found lurking in the cemetery of the vicinity, shrieking and mangling himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran to him and threw himself down before him. And get this, screaming at him with a top of his lungs, leave me alone, Jesus, the son of the most high God, swear in God's name that you won't torture me. For Jesus already said to him, come out of that man, you demon spirit. Now Jesus said to him, what is your name? What is your name? Why, why did Jesus have to ask him that? And then the man says, well, we're called mob or legion for we are many. And a legion in the Roman, in, in the Roman terms is 6,000 6, people. This demon was 6,000 strong inside this man. I want to highlight something to you. He called Jesus by his full name. Jesus, he says, he says, Jesus, son of the most high God, swearing God's name that you, that you, you know, that you will leave me alone, that you will not torture me. And then Jesus said to him, what is your name? And I felt like there was something in that. I'm like, what is, why did Jesus need to know his name? But I looked up the word name in Greek. Jesus wasn't just asking him his name. The word name is onoma, which means authority, rank, and cause. Jesus was saying, what is your authority? What is your rank? What is your cause? Because he knew he was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Wow, feeling the Holy Spirit on this right now. Feeling the Holy Spirit on this right now. Because Jesus was saying, what authority, what cause do you have to be in this man? What is your name? What rank do you have that could possibly sway over me? I'm the son of the living God on earth and I'm about to cast you out of this man. That's what Jesus was saying to him. And in that moment, there was a showdown because there was nothing nothing these demons could do except, okay, well, send us somewhere else then. We are no match for you. We are no match for you. Okay? I want to say this real quick. When you step into new territory, when you step into new place, what does it say? As Jesus stepped ashore. It was the moment Jesus stepped ashore that this madman came at him. This demonic spirit, these demonic spirits came at him. The moment he stepped ashore. And it can feel like many of you have already been through the lake. You've gone through, you weather the storms and you're getting to the other side and you're like, this is my territory. This is the place God has given me. And the moment you step ashore, suddenly you feel a resistance. You feel like stomach, something coming up against you. It will feel like that. But I'm telling you right now, it is no match. The things that are coming against you in this season are no match for what God has for you. It is no match. And I want to say the same thing to you today. I want to put this same thing back because we need to return that question to the enemy. We need to return that thing. And actually, God's saying to us right now, what is your name? We need to know who we are. When we step into a new territory, we need to go... I'm a son of the living God. <laughs> and the same spirit that lives in me that rose Jesus from the dead, that th- those things that are trying to oppose me or stop me have no authority over me. They have nothing on me. They have no, they have no ability. They are no match for the power that lives with inside me. Yes, I'm in a new territory. Yes, it is a place where the enemy has maybe dwelt for such a long time and I'm moving in on his camp. But I'm telling you what, it is not going to be a showdown. It's going to be a move out of my way because this is my destiny. Move out of my way because this this is my bus. This is my thing. This is what God has given to me. I will not let it go for anybody. And I believe this is an hour that God is stirring up an authority. I've been reading this book recently. I think it's a Dutch Sheets one. And he's speaking about how the enemy doesn't have authority. He doesn't have any power. He doesn't have power. 
Okay? Power is God's. We have the power. We're not trying to struggle for power. We're learning our authority. And this is an hour that God is, 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 is kindling in within the body of Christ. Just this knowledge of, of the authority of Jesus. The authority that we carry. The authority that was released through the cross and the resurrection of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. And as we, as we step onto the shore of our destiny and the purpose, we don't have to fear those things. You know, there could be... And I, I literally have seen, probably in the last three or four months, I've seen... And, and I don't talk about it much, but I've seen more demonic oppressing in this spirit that I've ever seen probably in my life and I'm just like it's got no match it's got no match these things that are taunting you do not even they they they, there are no match for you they are no match for the power that lives within you and I want I just want to encourage you today I want to say to you what is your name? Who are you? Like what, what, who do you belong and what lives inside you? Are you giving more weight and more power uh, to that thing that's taunting you? Are you, are you elevating into some place that has some kind of authority or influence upon your life? Or are you stepping up to the plate and saying, no, that is not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to entertain or tolerate those things that come against me. I'm simply going to step out in the authority that I carry and say, get out of my way. This is my territory. This is my domain. This is my destiny. This is my dream. This is my bus. This is my mission. And nothing's going to rob it. I just declare over you today, it's a new day of authority. It's a new day of authority. Because this is the thing that God spoke to me. The enemy wants to test to see if you really believe that you have the right and cause to be where you are. He wants to test you to see. He wants to go, oh, this person really believe. This person really believe they have authority. This person really know who they are. This person really know that Jesus and the Holy Ghost is behind them and everything they do. Does this person really, does this person really kind of stick this dream out or the, or the first time that I, you know, I begin to kind of press them or, or kind of create some resistance, they're going to go running. I believe that God is saying, it's inside of you, son. It's inside of you, daughter. Release the sound. Release the sound that's inside you. Do not allow that thing to taunt you. Do not allow those things to try to, to try to cover you over. Do not allow those things to try to bully you in any way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We just invite you here today. We just invite you, Holy Spirit. I just thank you. I thank you that you are the name above all names, Jesus. You're the name above all names, Jesus. I feel like I just needed to release a simple song and declare over you. I feel like some oppression is going to leave people today. It's almost like I can see where... See, this is the thing. This is the thing. When that madman comes up to you that's been living in the cemetery, if you, will, if you allow that spirit to influence you, you begin to think in the same way living in the cemetery, thinking that your dreams are dead, thinking that everything's over for you. Have you been feeling like that? Have you been living like that? God's like, come out of the cemetery. That's not your place. That is a place for the dead and those who are who are oppressed. And God says, come out. Come out of that oppression. Come out of that place where you've been feeling so, so crushed. But that place that you've been feeling so, so just completely bruised by the season, by, by the weariness of the season. The Lord's saying, come out of that place today. Begin to release your song. Begin to release the sound. It's the name above all names. The name above all names. The name above all names. It's Jesus. present. 
presence right now. Say, God, yeah, I've, I've been feeling it. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling oppressed, God. I can't do this like this anymore. God, I've been feeling just worn down, God. I can't do it anymore. God, I've been feeling like I've been feeling the effects of fear. I've been feeling like something's been blocking me, God. I've been feeling like I've been entertaining those thoughts that my dreams have died. I've been, I've been feeling the thoughts that I've been stepping onto the shore and suddenly something's trying to take me out, God. I've been feeling the warfare. God, I've been feeling like I don't have authority, God, and I know it's you trying to bring me up into a new level, God, but I just don't know how. Show me today, God. Whatever the cry of your heart is today, just be real before Him. I feel like there's just a healing right now in this moment as He just removes every single bit of oppression. We just command every single assignment, every single voice and influence trying to crowd your thoughts and your minds. I just command right now, be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every demon, go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Cause you're the name, Lord. Cause you're the name above all names. You're the name. Oh, every above every other single name, Jesus. You're the name above all names, Jesus. <laughs> every knee will bow. Every tongue confess that you are Lord. You are Lord, Jesus. You are Lord, Jesus. You are Lord, Jesus. You are Lord, we say, name above all names, Jesus, name above all names, Jesus, name above all names, Jesus, name above, you're the name, name above all names, Jesus, name above all names, Jesus, name above all names, Jesus. Let's sing out to him, sing in tongues, sing whatever you want to sing. Thank you, Jesus, you're the name above all names, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, you're the name above all names. Every principality, every power is under the name of Jesus. Every other kingdom must bow to the name and the authority and rule in the kingdom of Jesus. Everything must bow, everything must bow. Every sickness must bow right now. I just declare over you. Every sickness must bow. Every sickness must bow. Every affliction, every infirmity must bow. Everything must bow, Lord. Everything must bow. I see hard conditions being you right now. I see hard conditions being you right now. Oh, yeah.
see differently, says the Lord. You're not going to see the same way you saw before. You're not going to see the same way you saw before. I'm releasing a glory over you. It's going to lift your eyes. It's going to lift your head. It's going to cause you to come out of a place of limitation, says the Lord. pray every single person that's on here today would feel your presence, God. That they would feel your glory, God. That they would behold your King afresh, God. That they would behold your King afresh, God. That they'd feel the fire of heaven released upon their hearts, God. Just burning away all the things, God, that have held them back. And Lord, releasing a fresh passion and a fresh fire for you, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we love you. Jesus, this is all for you. And we love you. I pray for bodies to be made whole right now in Jesus' mighty name. For minds to come into complete. I just, I just saw scattered minds coming into one. Thank you, Father, that I be single. Let us see clearly in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Wow. I didn't even know what God did on here today, but I feel like there is just something that God is stirring. I, I saw some demonic stuff fleeing, but I, I felt like there's more. It's like an, an awakening, an, a realization of what God's doing in your life right now, an authority rising up in you. If you feel like somebody needed this today, please share this. Please share this broadcast before I end it and uh, just share it with them. Share on your page, whatever you want to do. But I just encourage you, God is calling you up higher, whatever song, whatever you need to release. You can't, some, you, some, you can't enter into a new season hoping someone's going to fight the battle for you. God is, God's equipped you in this season. He's calling you to rise up higher. Rise up higher. Um, before I go, I just want to also share with you, in the next few days, Christy and I are releasing uh, our registration for our seasons of, um, of our mentoring to come. It's, uh, we are so excited for what God's going to do in these seasons. Um, you know, if you have been really struggling to know how God has called you, you know, what is your expression? How is he, how are you wired? You know, what, what is the, what is the destiny upon your life? You've been feeling almost like there's no clarity of like, what has God called you to? Why are you alive? I encourage you to check out, um, check out what we're doing through Grow in our last two seasons for the year. It's going to be, it's going to be seasons of, of intense mentoring and really drawing out what God's placed within you. So go check that out. I'll be putting the, the link up the next few days, uh, sending it out in our emails as well. So we just bless you guys and you'll see Christy and I on Friday, our Friday America Thursday together. We come and bless you again on here. So we just uh, thank you for coming on here today and I'll see you then. Bye.